Solving one variable inequalities, um, your objectives are that you can solve one variable inequalities and then you can graph one variable in inequalities. Now we're not going to graph them on a gr piece of graph paper, rather we're going to graph them on the number line. Okay, so here we go. We got an equality. So equal sign means that there's one solution where x is equal to 2. And on the number line, what that means is at 2, you would have one particular spot as your answer. That would be 2. That's it. Okay. Whereas an inequality has this symbol that's not equals. It's kind of this uh, arrowish looking thing in a way that you were gonna solve in your solution is gonna be all the real numbers less than two. So to recap the graphing, you would have your, oh, there we go. That's equals two. And this is everything less than two because on the number line there's one, there's zero, there's negative one and everything to the left would be less than, okay? So, We've got the inequalities. I'm gonna run through what their names are and what their verbiage is. Here we've got greater than. Less than. Okay, we have less than or equal. And here we've got greater than or equal equal okay um like for example we've got speed limit uh, the speed limit is 50 miles per hour but that doesn't necessarily mean that you are gonna go just 50 miles per hour so maybe you, as an inequality it would be um the speed has to be less than 50 same thing for a ride the too tall sign or whatever it looks like it's about 52 inches so it would be that your height has to be greater than 52 inches so life's got all sorts of different inequalities okay when it comes to solving inequalities there's a whole lot of differences um and whole i mean sorry similarities not differences you're still going to use inverse operations to solve like, you know, addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. It's just that when you're solving an equation, you get one solution. And when you're solving an inequality, you're gonna get many solutions. But we're still gonna use inverse operations to get those many solutions. So for example, if I've got x plus four is less than 13, inverse of addition is subtraction, so I'm gonna subtract four. And I've got x is less than, uh, let's see, 9. Now my number line, I'll do it like this. Um, I'm going to put the number 9. I'll go one number bigger and one number smaller. Because it's not equal to, I'm not going to include the number 9. So I'm going to put this open circle. And I'm going to put in the number 8. Is 8 less than 9? So in other words, when I write out 8, that symbol, and 9, is it opening up the alligator, whatever you want to call it, to the bigger number? Yes, so eight smaller than nine, and I'm going to shade all those numbers below. Okay, inverse of subtraction is addition, so I'm going to add seven. I get x is greater than or equal to 28. So again, I'll put 28, one number smaller, 27, one number bigger, 29. Be realistic about it. This time, I'm going to fill in the dot on that 28 because it's equals to that line right there. And now I'm going to pick a number to test out. I'm going to go 29. And is 29 bigger than 28? Is it opening up to the bigger number? Yes. So I'm going to shade towards 29. Okay, so I'm going to write an inequality on this. See this guy? It's got an open circle at 5. So that means that x is going to hover somewhere with 5. So x would be like all my numbers. Okay, which way should my inequality go? Well, 6... Is bigger than five and I need to open to the bigger value so that means that my inequality is going to open up to that x one little caveat to this first of all by the way um, what inequality would i fill in here i believe two is less than four let's say i add two to both sides and i would get four and what six inequality is still that way so did my inequality or my sign change no 
Let's say I subtract 2 from 2. I'm going back to the very original. So 2 minus 2, I get 0. 4 minus 2, I get 2. Does the sign change? Nope. Let's say I multiply by 2. 2 times 2 is 4. 4 times 2 is 8. Does the sign change? No. You're probably thinking it's always no, no, no. But then when I multiply 2 by negative 2, I get negative 4. And I get a negative 8. Now, negative 4 is bigger than negative 8. So did the sign change? Yes. Okay, I'm going to divide by 2. So 2 divided by 2 is 1. 4 divided by 2 is 2. So does my sign change from the original one? Nope. But let's say I divide by a negative 2. So now i got a negative 1. And then a negative uh, 2. Negative 1 is bigger than negative 2. So my sign changed again. So when did my sign change? When I multiplied by a negative 2. And when I divided by a negative 2. And that's the thing is your sign, and I mean sign by inequality, okay, any one of those, has to change directions. When either you multiply or divide by negative numbers, okay? It's always the negative numbers. And it's only those two operations. So, Dividing by 5 does not change the sign. Oh, you just said division. Well, I'm dividing by a positive 5. So now x is greater than or equal to negative 4. Okay. So negative 4. Remember one smaller to the left, one smaller to the right. And open circle because it's not equal to. And I'm going to shade all the numbers bigger. Multiplying by a negative 4. Hey, now I multiply by a negative number. Now I change that direction of that sign to go this way and negative 48. So negative 48, negative 47, negative 49. And now open circle and bigger than, so I'm gonna shade to the left, or sorry, the right. Okay, so I only changed that in problem number five there because it was multiplying by a negative number. Okay, what happens if there's two steps? Just the same old thing, I'm gonna do it, pretend like it's an equal sign. I'm gonna do the opposite of adding three, subtracting three. I divided by a negative number, so make sure the direction that inequality changes. I got x is greater than negative six. So negative six, one smaller, it'd be negative seven, one bigger is negative five. Open circle, and I want all the numbers bigger, so I'm gonna shade that way. Inverse of subtraction is adding, so I'm going to add 7. Multiplication, okay, but it's not a negative number, so I'm not going to change the inequality, so x is greater than 48. So, again, 48. One number smaller on my number line, one number bigger on my number line. Open circle again, and I'm going to shade to the right, because those, those are the numbers bigger than 48. And that, friends, is solving linear inequalities. And if you wonder what the screaming is, my kids are playing in the garage.